Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get an England IP address. That is an IP address that's registered somewhere in England. Now, um, lots of people like to change IP addresses, uh, mainly because you get a different experience um, when you connect with a, uh, a an IP address from a different country. But also, there's a lot of blocking that goes on nowadays. There's, there's um, a technology called geolocation, geotargeting, geoblocking, whatever you want to call, basically restricts or controls access based on your IP address. And sometimes, um, especially if you travel a lot, um, it's quite useful to be able to switch IP address. So, <clears throat> I'm going to show you two different um, techniques now. To One's free, one's uh, paid but it's not so much but uh, to see if this is any use to anybody okay first of all I'm going to show you how to use a proxy server to get uh, an England IP address um, specifically a free proxy server okay so at the moment um, ooh, let's see I have got a um, Spanish IP address because I'm in Spain uh, on holiday for a couple of weeks. Uh, but if I want a England IP address, so I want to connect back to UK only resources, I need to change my address. So let's first go to this site, which is called proxynova.com, proxyserver.list. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, here we've got a list of what's called free open proxy servers. Now, what they basically do is scan the internet and find open proxies and then do a little summarize of their um, connections uh, details. So a proxy server is an intermediate server. So you can basically bounce your connection off a proxy server. Uh, and they ha this the, the good thing about Proxy Nova is they've got a way of uh, filtering from different countries so if you go to this list and scroll down to the uk which for some reason is under great britain but listed as united kingdom anyway no worries just after gabon at the moment uh, you'll see a list of um proxy servers that they found online now this changes from minute to minute you can see they scan continually and here is the list of the location. Now, you'll probably find that although it's listed United Kingdom, which obviously covers England, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales, um, most of them tend to be around London. So but you can actually spe uh, specify there. So you'll see here. So let's say we take our first one. What we need to get is our IP address. You also need a note of the port number. <coughs> And you should obviously check that you've got a um, United Kingdom or an England IP address. Okay, so this proxy is available. It's not that f fast at the moment, but um, it is available anyway. And it, and it seems to be up most of the time. And it's classed as an elite anonymi anonymity. Well, that basically means that the um, website that you visit won't be able to see your real IP address behind the proxy. Uh, I take these with a pinch of salt, though, because they're um, not always that accurate. Okay, so we've got our our IP address there for a, um, a proxy server in London. Okay, let me just show you how you configure it. Now, I'm going to show you in Chrome. It's very similar in most of the other browsers. If you go into Settings, and you want to go to System, and you'll see a setting called Open Proxy Net Proxy Setting. Sometimes it's under Network Settings, Network Connections. If you click on that, you'll get actually the system um, internet properties box. So this affects all browsers. Um, you can override that. You can go into Firefox, for instance, and um, configure one for Firefox. <clears throat> and the same with um, the other browsers. Okay, so you need to click on LAN settings. And here, down here, you'll have a proxy server. So in there, you can type in the proxy server, whatever it was. And it'll have four separate numbers. And remember to put the port in there, the port that's listed on this setting here. Okay. And that's all you need to do. You just need to OK. Don't touch the bypass proxy server for local addresses button, but just click OK and OK out. And that will give you the same IP address as the proxy server. So 
proxy servers um, operate on the application level. So basically, they'll affect any browser that you're using. So if you go into the browser, go into a website, they'll see your um, UK IP address. Now, a word of warning, these there's no idea who runs these servers. All they do is scan. Don't ever, ever, ever put anything important or confidential in this. Don't log on to PayPal, webmail, online banking, anything like that. You can't trust any data you put into these. <clears throat> if you're just streaming from YouTube or something, fine. The only problem will be maybe that it's too slow. Um, but don't, never put any. I, I personally don't use these because I don't consider them that safe, but it's a free version, so you have to take the risk. So, uh, But please don't put anything confidential when you, you into your browser when you're using these. Okay, let's minimize this now, and I'll show you the other way quickly to get an England IP address, and that is to use a VPN. Now, a VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Again, it's an intermediate server, much like a proxy, but it uh, operates on the application level of TCP IP. No, that basically, sorry, it operates on the network level of TCP IP. And what that basically means is that anything from your device, so whether you're on your smartphone, your um, your tablet, your laptop, whatever, will be tunneled down this um, virtual private network or VPN tunnel. Uh, everything's encrypted, it's all protected, uh, and you will basically get an IP address in the location of the VPN server. So, for instance, I can show you here, uh, this is my NordVPN, and if I want an English IP address, all I need to do is to click on the United Kingdom, and click on London, and then I'll get an English IP address. The others are in Manchester. You could click on that one as well. And you can see it's connected to the United Kingdom now. So remember, this is at the network level. So anything, all my email goes down this tunnel. All my, if I'm using any applications or software that makes network connections, is all going down there. It's all encrypted. It's all hidden. Nobody can see you. Let's just quickly show you what happens. Uh, and we'll go to a site here called... Uh, my location it's called gps-coordinates.org and what it does it looks up the location of your ip address but it doesn't see the real ip address if you've got a vpn connection or a proxy server connection it will see the location of the proxy or vpn server's ip address so it's now clicked and you can see the vpn i've connected to is in london so this works perfectly. And now any site I go to will think I'm in Britain, which is perfect for sites like BBC iPlayer or um, ITVX or geo-restricted sites. Um, for instance, a lot of um, UK betting sites only work in the UK because of laws and regula regulations. So um, you'd need a VPN connection. Um, the proxy servers won't really work for most of those sites because they get blocked because too many people are using them. But hey, give them a try. Um, but again, don't use any usernames and passwords. Uh, I think I've said that several times now, but it really is important. VPNs, you're perfectly safe. It's In fact, it's much, much safer than using no VPN at all um, because you're encrypted and your real identity is protected. Okay, I'm going to finish that now, and that's how I can get an England IP address, and you can too. I hope you enjoy the video and have a lovely, nice rest of the day. Bye-bye.